The stages of learning is same in every art form, be it Kuchupudi, Bharatanatyam or any other form. It starts with a physical training where you prepare your body. You will start with exercises, then you will learn the basic adavas, then you expand your learning into jatis, then small invocatory pieces. By that you will develop your stamina, the way you move your body, control of your body, but never stop learning at that stage. The next stage is the aesthetic level of learning, where you move into the Abhinaya part of it, understanding the Abhinaya in a better way. That is your second stage. Um, aesthetic stage also includes another aspect to it. Understanding music is also very important at this particular stage, understanding music and talam. I have heard Bala Saraswati's, I have heard so much about um, famous dancer Bala Saraswati's dance. And um, she has done Krishna Ni Begane Baro like for n number of times and all the times her Abhinaya was different it seems. And one of my guru, Sri Venuji, the Kudiyatam expert, he told me once, I think it is because of the musicality in her. A person who can sing so well and who has talams, inbuilt talam in them, their Abhinaya, their aesthetics grows in a different way. So understanding music and talam is very important at that stage. You can't just learn items. I would say the word, I would use the word items or pieces. See, there is nothing called item learning or learning pieces in dance. Before it was all compositions. You learn Shabdam, you learn Jatiswaram, you learn Jatikata, you learn Varnam or Tarangam. Everything has names. So we use that, but nowadays it's more like items. So, when you are in a journey of collecting items, then there is no stages. Stage happens when you have a very disciplined, regular, focused learning. So, first you understand your body, practice it and get it fit. You know, nurtam should be like, you know, a flow of your energy. Then you move into the aesthetic element of it. You understand Abhinaya. Connect your innermost to the nrittam that you are doing. Enjoy that learning. And at this point, probably, if you are lucky enough, you are fortunate enough, you would meet a guru or you would meet someone because that's how the journey starts. Then that is a spiritual journey where you connect yourself or you become one with your own art form. Then there is no difference. Whatever you have learned, you have to forget it because that's already there. Something else will evolve where there is no difference between you and the higher self. Everything that you do become dance, everything that you be do become art. So that is the ultimate level. So when I say spiritual level, it doesn't mean that you always have to do bhakti poetry or you have to do anything connected to religion. That is, it is not at all connected to religion. It is understanding your own self. That is something else. Even if you are doing a Shrungara Padam, even if you are doing um, a sad Kriti, if you are connected, that is a spiritual journey. So you will understand it when you cross that line, that bridge. So I think that's the three stages of learning.